You're listening to Morakai Memento. Delve deep into your imagination and experience a fantastical and enchanting journey. If you're willing and able, please support me on Patreon and with super thanks. Now, let's awaken your most passionate desires. Alright class, turn your books to page 69. Today's lesson in history is about the brazen bull. This torture device is not just for torture, it's a tool for capital punishment. And of course, you should all already know that capital punishment means death. The medieval times were a cruel time. Being tortured to death was very common. As you know, we've gone over several torture devices already. This one, the brazen bull, dates back to Rome, to the Roman Empire. I haven't really been able to find any extant images of this delectable torment device. However, it's said to be made out of bronze in the exact size and shape of a bull. Sometimes I expect it was made a little bigger, completely made out of bronze, which is a great conductor of temperature. What was very unique about this brazen bull is that the head had a system of pipes and stops like an organ, so that when the victim was being roasted alive, their screams would be transmuted into the sounds of a bellowing bull. The bull had a door on the side, and the victim was placed in the bull. The door was shut and locked, and then the bull was placed over a fire. And the victim slowly roasted to death. It was not a quick death. Quite the opposite. It was very, very long and painful. And the screams of the victim delighted the onlookers for hours as the bull rendered them into sounds of an angry, bellowing bull. So imagine, if you will, being convicted of a crime, placed in the bull, having the door locked behind you, and you feel the cool bronze pressing against your skin. That coolness isn't going to last for long, though. You feel the bull being moved. Moved and placed over a fire. You can tell you're over a fire because it's not long before it starts to get warm inside the bull. You start to sweat. The belly of the bull, where you're sat or kneeling, is getting terribly hot. You struggle to somehow suspend yourself against the highest part of the cavity, your arms and legs screaming in agony as they hold you above the hot, hot belly. But it doesn't matter, because the temperature inside the bowl is getting very hot. Perhaps you panic and scream for help. The onlookers cheer and laugh. 
listening to the sounds of the bull bellowing. You can't even communicate to those outside, anyone who may be able to help you. And it's not like anyone could help you. The bull is already too hot to be touched willingly. No one's going to burn their hand to unlock you. And as your arms tire, you slide down to the belly of the bull. And your feet, or your hands, wherever you contact the bull, begins to blister and burn. And you scream more. And the bull bellows louder. You sweat, and your drops of sweat sizzle as they hit the bull. You get hotter and hotter, and you can't take it. But you have no choice. You can't escape. You have to take it. And you know that this is your death for the crime they say you committed. Whether you committed it or not. Sometimes there was more than one person in the bowl. Can you imagine watching somebody else burn? Watching somebody else roast right before your eyes? Would you push them down and try to get on top of them to protect yourself from the heat as long as you could? Would you watch as their juices dripped out of them, first sweat, and then, well, I think you can imagine what happens when meat is being roasted. It doesn't matter that the meat is human. It just gets hotter and hotter and you begin to melt. You begin to roast like a piece of beef. Terrible, terrible meal for a brazen bull. And the more you scream, the more you delight the onlookers. Eventually you can't control it. You scream whether you want to or not. And then finally, you stop screaming as you succumb to the heat and the burning kiss of the brazen bull. You should be thankful we live in the modern era. Class dismissed. <laughs>